Hello, my name is Yunal and I'm a 3D artist at Chaos. In this video, I will take you through the process of creating and rendering particles in Cinema 4D using the Matrix object and V-Ray particles. First, we need to generate some matrices and choose how we want to distribute them. Let's choose the object mode and I will select a spline I prepared earlier, which vaguely represents a strand of our alien flower. Now that we have the base for our setup, we need to go ahead and place our strength in a cloner object. Now that the cloner is creating the splines, we need to point the matrix object to it, so we get our matrices back. I've got another similar spline that I prepared, and I can place it as a child to the cloner object, so we've got a bit of variation in the paths we are going to generate. Alright, before we start rendering, and figuring out how to color our particles, we could add some randomization to our splines. I'm using three separate random effectors applied to the cloner, and each of them is giving us a slight variation in the position, scale, and rotation values. Great. Now let's add a new random effector and assign it to the matrix object. The only information we need from this one is the random color data. So let's switch off everything else and set the color mode to effector color. Now, if I add a very particle subjects to the scene, set its type to Phoenix particles and drop our matrix subjects inside of it. you'll see that I've got access to our color channel with all the random colors coming from the random effector. Ok, let's now switch to V-Ray Particles and see how we can shade the individual particles using a V-Ray node material. When I connect the particle sampler node to the light material, we once again have access to the randomly generated colors from our effector. We could take it a step further and insert a remap node in between the particle sampler and the emissive color. This way, we've got greater control over the colors we would like to render. Using the hue, saturation and value curves, we can remap and restrict the color data we are generating for our emissive material. To finish off the setup, I have added a tracer object and linked it to the matrix object. Then just add a renderable spline tag to the tracer and play around with its overall width and modes. And this will render a nice little trail behind every particle we've got. Lastly, as it's often the case with particles or simulations of any sort, I would make sure to either cache them, if we could of course, or have them imported as an alembic object. This will speed up everything and make sure that we are rendering exactly what we are seeing in the viewport. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on V-Ray particles using Cinema 4D's matrix object and found it useful. If you've got any questions or suggestions for future topics you would like to see us cover, 
do not hesitate to let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos.